G'day and welcome to the Tech Math channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is a way of working out the least common multiple. Now, first off, what is the least common multiple? Well, say we want to work out the least common multiple for 72 and 60. The least common multiple is the smallest common number that these numbers go into. Okay, so we're going to have a look at how to do this now. I have made another video where we look at how to make this. This is a different method, and it's a really good method for working out the least common multiple of big numbers, and uh, it's fairly reliable. In fact, it's 100% reliable. So how does this one work? Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find this thing called the greatest common factor. And that's the hardest part of this. It doesn't take very long, but what the greatest common factor is, it's the biggest number that goes into both of these numbers. Okay, so to so say... We were doing this the way we do it is we divide the smaller of these two numbers into the bigger one so 72 divided by 60 this is our first step is 1 with a remainder of 12 okay now what we do is we look at uh, the remainder here and we're going to carry this on to the next stage so 12 is going to be carried on to the next stage and the smaller of these two numbers is also going to be carried on to the next stage so 60 and 12 and we're going to have a look at now how many times we're going to do the bit of a repeat we divide the smaller of these numbers into the larger one of these okay so 60 divided by 12 the answer is 5 now put that down and there's no remainder and what this means that there's no remainder this means that 12 I'll give it a circle is our greatest common factor okay this is the biggest number that goes into both 72 and 60. We looked at this in a, a different video I did. Now, how can this be used to work out the LCM, the least common multiple? It's as follows, and it's really, really simple. What we now do is we divide 12 into one of these numbers. This 12, this greatest common factor, into one of either 60 or 72. Okay, so I'll divide 12 into 72. 12 into 72, it goes six times. Okay, six times. And what I do is I multiply it by the other one. Okay, so 6 times 60. Our least, least common multiple is 360. Okay, and it wouldn't have mattered. I could have gone uh, 60 divided by 12, which is 5, and times that by 72, and I would have got the same answer. Okay, so it's not a bad little method for doing this. Now, this is a, actually a very accurate method too. So we'll have a look at a couple more examples with this. Now, don't panic straight away. If you didn't get that straight away, don't worry. I'll give you a few examples to set you right. I'll give you a, a nice, easy example to go on with that we'll have a look at right now. So, say we wanted to work out the uh, the LCM of, we'll go a nice, easy one, 45 and 20. And I'm going to put everything in order here, biggest number, smallest number. But if you don't have them in that order, you can rearrange them so they are. So, now, what do we do first? We divide the smallest into the largest number, 20 into 45. Well, that goes two times, okay? And there is a remainder, okay? So 45 divided by 20 is 2, and there's a remainder of 5. I move the remainder across now, okay? So 5 moves down here, and the smaller of these numbers moves down to the next stage. 20 divided by 5, okay? That goes in four times, and there's no remainder. So 5, because there's no remainder... 5 is our greatest common factor. Alright, what do we do now? We divide this greatest common factor into our two original numbers to work out this least common multiple, okay? So, 5 into 45, okay, 5 into 45 goes 9 times, okay, 9, and we times it by 20. 9 times 20, the LCM is 180. Pretty cool, right? All right, now you're going to be like, okay, that's not necessarily always faster than the uh, other method that we looked at in the other video, and you're correct about this, but it's a really great method, especially when you're starting into nastier numbers. Okay, what about we do something a little bit nastier? What about I do say, what's the uh, lowest com, the least common multiple of, okay, let's go nasty here, 1,040 and 455. Okay, just to go a bit crazy. I'll tell you what, after this I'll chuck on an even nastier example. So, what do we do? We divide the smallest into the largest. The smallest, 1,040 divided by 455. Okay, so 
this divided by this we're going to get uh, 2 with a remainder of 130 hooray ok so what we'll do is we move this remainder down to the next stage 130 and I'm going to move the smaller one of these down 455 divided by 130 ok how many times has that happened uh, goes in th 3 times and there's a remainder of 65 ok still remainders haven't found that greatest common factor yet well, we'll go one more step eh? go another step we've got to 65 is going to move down to the next stage and 130 is going to move down to the next stage a smaller of our two numbers 130 divided by 65 hey that's two times there's no remainder so you know what that means that means we've found our greatest common factor which is 65 okay this is our GCF okay so 65 uh, 65 goes into 455 seven times okay 455 divided by 65 is 7 um, times it by 1040 1040 and our uh, LCM is going to be 7280 see that's where this method's really cool for working it with ridiculous numbers okay what about I'm going to give you the most nastiest example, the most nastiest, the nastiest example um, that that yeah you know, that you might actually ever get. Okay, so what about we do uh, the LCM of five thousand two hundred and two and two four three one. Okay, so. You know what we're going to do? We're going to divide one to the other. We've got to find this uh, greatest common factor first. That one goes into that one. It goes in. It goes in twice, and there is a remainder of 340. What about you pause this and give this a go and see how you go? Yeah, I've already started for you, but pause it. See how you go. All right. Okay. So we're going to take the smallest one, 2431, and I'm going to divide 340 into that. Okay, how many times does that occur? Sorry, I'm just trying to find a different colour, actually. It goes in seven times. And there's a remainder of 51. Okay. Um, this is what's going to happen. 51 is going to move down. 340 is going to go to the next stage. 340 divided by 51. Um, you're going to get that, what, six times? Six times, Okay. That's going to be 306. There's going to be a remainder of 34. Okay. Keep going. 34 is getting moved down. 51. You're going to see we're rapidly getting down to the stage we are. We're getting somewhere, though, aren't we? It's going to go in one time. Oh, man. Almost wrote in the wrong pen. One time remainder is it 17. And 34. It's going to move to this next stage. Divided by... This remainder, 17. Hey, it's two times. Two times. No remainder. We've got our GCF. Okay. Our greatest common factor. Okay, so I'm going to see how many times this goes into one of these numbers. What about 5,202 divided by 17? If you do that, you're going to get this answer of, so this one here divided by this one here. You're going to get the answer of 306 times... 2431 okay and what this will be if you do this you'll get this uh, this least lowest common multiple of 743,886 okay and yes I did prepare that one earlier okay but I thought I'd show you how this method can be used okay now what do you think of that method? I'll tell you what, it is 100% accurate. And the beauty of it, it, it means you can, if you miss out on something on the other method, if you actually don't get it down to its uh, greatest common factor, you end up in trouble. But this one works all the time. Anyway, tell us what you think of this. Uh, I think it's a great method. Anyway, see you next time. Bye.